Hello everyone, today we are going to be going over the 2016 State Leadership Conference test for the Introduction to Financial Math. This was very kindly sent to me by a student from um, my school. I'm not going to say his name because I haven't, um, I'm not sure if he wants his name uh, public, but um, I really appreciate it. And this was the test. Um, so anyways, um, I'm going to start off, I'll try to go over as many questions as I can in this uh, video and we'll see from there. I will say, a fair portion of these tests are terminology based. So we have some quizlets on from our website, which I highly recommend that you use to study the uh, terminology. Um, as with these tests, terminology really is quite a large part because most of the students that at least can make it to, this, to the state leadership conference tend to be able, are already quite uh, proficient in math. So terminology is what really separates the competitors, especially as you get to the um, higher and higher level um, tests. Um, so um, higher and higher level, um, you know, rankings, like, you know, go, you go from regional to state, things like that. So first one is utilities, employee wages, and taxes are examples of non-recurring expenses. It's definitely not this, right? Because you're going to have to pay these again, right? If your business keeps running, you'll have to pay this. So it's not this. Variable expenses, operating expenses, or flexible expenses. So... In this case, these are expenses that you have to pay to keep your business running. So these are considered operating expenses, right? You need to pay employees, you have to pay utility costs and taxes are also a requirement. So this would go under operating expenses. Next question is, the financial statement that includes revenue and expenses is the, sorry, um, financial statement that includes revenue and expenses is the, well, the net worth, so let's start from the top. Actually, let's start from B because this is the correct answer and I will explain why in just a second. Um, but we're going to use the process of elimination to deduce this in this case. So net worth is your assets minus your liability, liabilities. Um, then your owner's equity statement is basically this assets minus liabilities, but just for a business instead of um, in total. And now you get income statement or balance sheet. This is something which you just kind of have to know. This is income statement, not balance sheet. So um, in this case, this is income statement. Question three, the amount the business pays for the merchandise it sells is, well, it's not net profit, right? Because profit is money that you're making, not money that you're paying. So it's not this one. Cost of goods sold. Well, the business pays for the merchandise it sells. This one sounds pretty likely. Now, gross profit. Well, again, you're paying money. You're paying money for merchandise. So it's definitely not this. Net gain. Well, if you're paying money, you're not gaining money, so it's not this, cost of goods sold, which is also referred to as COGS. COGS is the abbreviation. You have to know this abbreviation. Um, it will likely come up on your test. So COGS, C-O-G-S, okay? Net sales minus cost of goods sold equals, so net sales minus the cost of goods sold equals net profit. Well, let's see. So net profit, this is a viable option, could be this. Net worth, again, this is assets minus liabilities, so not this. Net loss, well, you're doing sales minus the cost of goods sold, so that wouldn't quite calculate your net loss because uh, you would have to account for more factors to calculate your net loss. And lastly, gross profit. So really, it's between these two, net or gross. Well, you're not including the taxes that you have to pay and things like that, right? So it's not net profit because net is like the take home, is like the money that you actually keep, the take home. That's important to remember. Net is always like the money which you're keeping, the money that you're taking home uh, in a more colloquial reference. So gross profit D. Now, amounts that a person owes financial institutions in department stores are, well, it's not income, right? Because that's money that you're making. Liabilities could be this one, right? That's money which you owe. These are things that you know you have to pay money off of. So it could be this, could be liability. Capital again, that's money which you, that's something which you own, something which you have, not money which you owe. So not this. And, you know, assets are the opposite of liabilities or things which, which you have, which works to increase your net worth. So it's not this. So it is a liability. Um, this video uh, might be becoming a bit long. So I will be making a part two and possibly subsequent parts because this is a 100 question test. I hope you're finding this helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to review vocabulary and things like that. And goodbye.